it's probably 20 feet tall. Okay, the venture has eventually officially begun. Springer Mountain. No views today. This is the very southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. That's where the approach trail ends and the AT begins. Let the good times roll. First steps on the AT. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the opportunity to be here. Thank you for keeping me healthy until my 60th birthday. Thank you for allowing me to be here. In spite of all the stupid things I've done in my life and mistakes I've made, things I've overcome, you gave me the strength. I give you the glory, I give you the credit. Thank you. And it's raining. <laughs> it's supposed to rain the whole first week, so that's okay. It's going to rain a lot in five months. Coming through the parking lot, 0.9 miles, and my wife is still here, leaving her now. Headed on. We're doing this. Georgia to Maine. There's my car. Last time I'll see it for six months. Five months, I hope. Four months, I hope. How about that? <laughs> Thanks to all my friends who are following me. Thanks for prayers and supports. Uh, three forks, 3.2 miles. Uh, I want to say something about my sister as I start today. 30, 37 years ago, we lost her in a bad car accident. She was, meant a lot to me. We were close. It was a bad mistake. And I don't go many days, I don't think about her. I wish my life had been different. Sun's coming up.
but I'll be remembering her for all of these days on the trail, thinking about her. Beautiful sunrise. <laughs> wow, I don't think you can see it probably. It's coming. Maine, here we come. First stream crossing. It rained last night. It's 52 degrees this morning. Uh, the uh, great hiking weather. Everything's real wet. Very uh, cool. going down into the, all this rhododendron. Of course, I'll be looking at rhododendron for months, but uh, this is the Stover Creek area. This will be the first shelter after Springer not come to down in here. Already seeing hog sign. Stover Creek. It's beautiful down in here. From my training hike in December, I remember this is where I stayed. First night, came up the approach trail and then the eight mile approach trail and then down into here on the AT. Stay down on this creek for several miles before you climb back up again. This shelter's right up here. Probably gonna be some people here, so I have to stop filming. Yep, there it is. I hear people. All right, first shelter to pass. Since Springer, keep on trucking. Up 
pop up. <laughs> This used to be an old road of some kind of sort. Logging road or years and years ago. I think it follows along this road for a mile or so and then it gets off of it again. I mean, lots of roots still, but it's pretty easy walking, not that strenuous up or down. That's a nice thing if you ever get on a old road bed, you know, probably not going to be that steep, maybe all up or all down, but if they were able to put a vehicle on it, then it's usually not going to be too terribly bad. I know I got some big climbs coming. Woo between here and the Smokies. All right, all right. That tape was here in December. I need to get some of that tape, it's good stuff. This is called Three Forks. I think there's a road right up there. That's pretty. No turning back now. High Tower Gap, four miles, Long Creek Falls, one mile. And this area is called Three Forks. All right. 
on down the trail. I think from what I remember, it goes just a little bit further on this road. Uh, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a mile or so. And then you, then you start climbing. Get off this creek. It's pretty down here. Let's see what the temperature is. 55 degrees. I mean, <laughs> and it's just kind of hazy. I see the sun some. It's trying to, it was shining early. I, mean, I know there's a good chance of rain this afternoon. Hoping to get my 11, 12 miles in a day and catch a ride to a hostel and spend the night and then do it all over again tomorrow and come back to the same hostel. This is my plan. With the first couple of nights, I'm just trying to start getting my legs back in shape and or get them in shape for this. That's the plan. We'll keep it, keep rolling. Well, there's some sunshine. How about that? Just uh, came over a little ridge, came up out of that Stover Creek bottom, I'm at 3,032 square feet. Kind of going back down just a little bit here now. First mistake this morning. First mistake on the trail. I should have wore shorts. I wore these long pants and I am burning up. I'm hot natured. I knew I was hot natured. I almost put the shorts on. But they were calling for rain. I said, still a good chance of rain. It's still early, but you know, you just kind of learn. I, you know, I figured I'd get cold. I got it soaking wet. But I don't know. I'm, I'm miserable now because I'm so hot. So tomorrow, if it's the same forecast as it is today, I'm in shorts. The heck with these long pants. All right, I'm coming to a gap and I see a vehicle. I can't know where I am right now. I'll come back on here in a minute. I see a car. So I'll come back on, let you know what uh, what gap this is. I see two people hiking too. All right, talk to you later. Well, that's not a, that wasn't a gap. That's called Hickory Flats. The guy sitting in the car there with his dog. Looks like I'm catching up to a couple of people, I guess. And, and I saw three hikers early this morning in the first mile southbound. And I hadn't seen anybody really since, except for I've been catching a glimpse of somebody in front of me every now and then. I think it's these people. All right, I'm going up again. Puds, pointless ups and downs. Gonna get a lot of those. Talk to you later. on its way out. It is big. Big tree. I got people catching up. Well, hello everybody. Hawk Mountain Shelter. Second shelter. Third shelter. Counting Springer Mountain Shelter. I'm going on by. I ate lunch here one day when my December training. Nice shelter here. We got lining up with several hikers, I think. So I've got to watch when I film. I don't want to catch anybody on film that I don't need to. But that's why I just pull it out real quick and put it back up. And just, so I won't have to edit them out. So the only way I'll Rolled my right ankle a little bit. It wasn't too terribly bad. 
other than that, things are going good. It's a beautiful day so far. Can't complain. I won't complain. No need to complain. I'm here <laughs> enjoying my time. Once in a lifetime opportunity, probably. Sorry I'm bouncing so bad. I'm trying to go downhill and hold still. Beautiful country. Thank you, Lord, for letting me be here. Talk to you later. All right, here's a good view. Just came through High Tower Gap. I've been making better time than I expected. Of course, it is my first day. I'm trying to keep my expectations low. This is pretty. And I'm on a big ridge, climbed up from High Tower Gap. My next gap is Cooper Gap. Well, I got a gap coming up called Cooper Gap, about three miles. And that's as far as I'm going today. And it is just about somewhere around 11 o'clock. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep to the plan and just keep my legs used to the hiking. Past several hikers now. Everybody's been extremely nice. I'm sure that this crowd will be growing as I go. There's 435 people in front of me. I think I just passed about six of them. But they're going to hike further than me today if they got any, any legs on them at all. And then I'll have to see if I can catch them tomorrow. Staying at above the clouds, hostile tonight, not camping. It's supposed to rain sometime today, and then pretty good chance of rain tomorrow. So I have just have it booked with Lucky at above the clouds to stay tonight there. And then again tomorrow night, and then I'll be at Blood, go over Blood Mountain on the third day. Which most of this trail I've hiked, you know it fairly well. Several sections in here I've hiked just to give myself some training. It's beautiful over here. It's partly cloudy, as you can tell. And I know that the phone focuses on the trees, and you can't see the view as good as me. But awesome here. It's one of thousands. Figured I would show it while I can with the sun shining. Lots of raw rocks. I think I said in the last video I rolled my right ankle. Now that's my bad one that's been worked on. And that's probably the worst it's been rolled since I had surgery on it, which scared the snot out of me, to say the least. But it didn't really hurt it, so I'm glad that I tested it. It was at the six mile, or about the seven, about the seven mile point on the trail. I rode it. <laughs> so does that lead to go one thousand nine hundred and ninety miles to go? <laughs> I've already rolled my ankle. But anyway, I just thought I'd update you with that a little bit of tidbit. Well, hello everyone. I'm at Cooper Gap. I am done for the day. It's 12.38. I got 11.4, 12 miles, so 11.4, I believe, miles down today. So anyway, I, I, I booked it too fast. I should have stretched it out a little more. But I'm resting now. I'm just going to take my boots off, put my Crocs on. I'm sitting in my chair. Let's see my. And I've just met a bunch of people today already. It's a lot of nice folks on the trail. Just Wolfie and another guy that I met just left. They're headed to the next shelter. I'm going off and I'm staying at uh, Above the Clouds Hostel tonight. They're going to bring me 
get back here in the morning and then I'll start again and stay above the clouds again tomorrow night. And as predicted, it's clouding up pretty cloudy. The only problem is I got here an hour and a half, two, hour, two and a half hours early. I was supposed to be here at three for my ride. It's just hard to plan, you know, just hard to know exactly what I, where I need to be when. I don't know. I guess the most people just don't plan too far in advance. And, and because they, I could have hiked another five miles today, probably wouldn't be able to walk tomorrow, but there's no doubt in my mind I could keep going a long way today. It's my first day. So anyway, I'm sticking with the plan. I'm not changing it. Um, just thought I'd give everybody an update. So I'll let, give you another update whenever I get to the hostel, but I'm just kind of hanging out here, resting. I passed, I was going so fast, I passed everybody on the trail. And three of them have come back by me now since I've been sitting here. Somebody needs to tell me to slow down. One of you smarties will, I'm sure. I know I'll slow down, I'll probably get sore. All right. Talk to you later, bye. Above the clouds hostel. Just got my ride in here from Cooper Gap. This is my room for the night. This is the judges chambers. So I have my own private room. Very nice.